What is going on guys? It's uh, PeekumFun fan 97 I'm showing you guys how to use Windows 8 if you're new to this or if you just want to know how to use it. So it's really you know, straightforward. Um, basically, you have your widgets, you've got your apps, you've got your desktop. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start off with our desktop. If you were to click on your desktop, it takes you to your desktop. You can do whatever you want here. And if you want to go back, all you're going to do is you can move your mouse to the very bottom left. Um, and that will take you back to your start menu. So you just click. Um, you may notice that there is no start button there because they removed it. You can get it back if you were to install uh, a program which, which uh, bring, brings it back. But uh, I'm pretty good with that. You can also go to uh, on the very top right. If you were to move, move your mouse, you can search um, apps or installed files or files on your computer. You can share. Um, you can go back to the start. Uh, start home screen menu or the start menu you can go to devices and you can go into settings settings basically if you were to click on it it take you to you know control panel personalization pc info help if you were to click this it takes you to your you know personalization control panel like you would on just by right clicking and going to personalize so that's you know a long way of going to you can go into network to connect to your Wi-Fi or your Ethernet. You can, you know, change the sound. You've also got your brightness. Now you may notice that it says unavailable. Uh, that is because uh, I'm running Windows 8 on a virtual machine on my MacBook Pro. This would, this will be available if you just, you, you know, if you have a PC. You've got notifications, so if, I don't know, if your battery's low, it give you a notification. You can click on it and click hide for one hour if it shows up. You can turn off. You can sleep, shut down, and restart your computer. And you can got your keyboard, of course. Um, this is Apple Parallels keyboard, so it's going to be a little different. You can change PC settings if you were to click on PC settings. Um, there's an easier way to do this. If I were to go back to my desktop, if you were to go to um, if you were to go to settings, or in the very start of the beginning, if you were to go back to the start menu, you can see your name right there. If you click on it and you click change account picture, it takes you back to your PC settings but it takes you to your account picture. You can change the lock screen. Now I have my a virtual machine for some reason dis disables this, so I don't know why, but it shouldn't be doing this, but you can change your theme. You can uh, add um, uh, apps to in the background when it's locked. You can do, you can change your start screen. You can change it to a different wallpaper if you wanted to. You can also change the color theme, um, you know, your background. And that's pretty cool. That's neat that they have there. You can do users. Um, you can change your name, send it to Microsoft Office or sign a Microsoft account. Sorry. You can go to notifications. You can turn off app notifications. So if there's an update, you can just turn it off and that snipes it right off. Note if you turn this off, then all of these apps will be unavailable and that will you won't get notifications for them. Um, you've got search. Um, you can delete your history. When you search something for a file, you can delete your history. You got share. Um, you can basically share like a photo or whatever music. You can go to mail if you don't want that option there. You can just turn it off, and it will appear in mail if you were to share it to mail and SkyDrive is all of these are checked. You can do general, change your time. You know app switching, uh, spelling, language. You can change your language: Chinese, Italian, Spanish. Um, you can do refresh your PC with uh, without affecting your files. Blah blah blah. It gives you all of these options that you would have. Um, on a normal Windows 7 computer, you call it privacy. Um, you can let apps use my location. You can go to devices, wireless, ease of access. It's all pretty straightforward. So now, if we go back to our desktop, you may notice how I did that. You just move your uh, mouse to the very top left. Uh, if I don't go into the menu, because <laughs> I'm on a Mac. So if you move it to the top left, uh, if this doesn't appear again, um, you will notice that I can go switch on between um, apps so if i were to go back if uh, this menu bar is really irritating so if i were to move it back um and if i were to move down you can see that there may be more um apps open so i'll show you that so if i were to open photos this is photos by the way i don't have any photos stored yet but if we were to take photos you can you know share it and stuff so i don't have any pictures yet but it will all appear right here that's pretty cool so again you just go to the very top left you can go down, you can right click and click close to close that app um, and just go back to the start menu. You've got Internet Explorer. That's an easy way to accessing accessing the internet. 
Um, you've got, let's see, you've got your Microsoft Store. You've got Maps. Maps is really cool. You can go to your location and whatnot. So I'm not going to do that. Um, you know, I've got all your stuff. Messaging. Messaging is an interesting one because you can sign into your Microsoft um, account, basically your email, and get messages from there. I am not going to log in right now because I'm doing a tutorial video. You've got, um, you know, your search engine. You can, uh, uh, let's see, let me check that. If you were to click on that, or might as well click it, uh, it will bring up uh, Bing, which of course no one uses. Um, Bing, if we did a little joke on it, Bing, because it's not Google. <laughs> Get it? Because it's not, okay. Anyway, so you have Bing right here, travel. Um, and you can search, uh, I'm not going to update it right now, but you can search it. You can know, search whatever you want. There's an update, so I'm not going to update it right now. Now, you can change or rearrange all of these if you want to. You can't, um, you know, you can just click and drag uh, to your liking. You can change, you can move this up here. Now, if you don't like the way that it moves, see like this, then all you got to do is you want to right click, and you can see that it's checked. You can, uh, this is really cool. Say you have apps that are installed, you can right click on this. If you, have, you can multiply check. You can check both multiple items. No, you can't uninstall um, more than one because you can't. So um, to, whoa, let's go back. Let's not do that. So if you were to uh, right click to stop it from moving, you click turn live title off. So you click on that and make sure it's enabled and it will turn off. See how it's not moving anymore. So if I were to turn that one on and then turn live title off, it will turn off and it won't move anymore. So um, you can also uninstall um, certain apps if you want to. You can also unpin it from the start, and it will be gone. You can also make this smaller so you can fit more stuff into your um, into your little page or here, whatever you call it. Um, you can go to all apps. These are all the apps that are installed into your Windows 8. Of course, this is the one I'm using, Google Chrome, because everyone should use Google Chrome. So that's basically um, basically it for Windows 8. There's not much to it uh, besides, you know, going to your time and stuff. It just all looks a little different. Um, so, yeah, if you guys enjoy this uh, tutorial, a little in-depth tutorial because it's pretty long, um, then don't uh, forget to leave a like. Um, if you guys want more Windows 8 tutorials, then I will. I'm, I'll be more in-depth. This is just like a basics overall. And if you liked what I just did, then uh, share some love. You know, drop a like, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.